Hey guys, welcome back to Topher Drives and welcome to the brand new 2023 BMW M340i. This car has been facelifted, given an LCI, a life cycle impulse for the 2023 model year. I'm out here right now in Palm Springs, California at BMW Test Fest and uh, we're testing out some of the new BMWs for this year. The new 7 Series is out here. The new X7 is here. Charlie, uh, my colleague from Daily Motor there, is in that X7. It's in Verde Erms, a individual color. But uh, today I thought we would take advantage of this mountain road and uh, kind of go rip this M340i. I have never driven one of these cars. I've driven the 330i, I've driven the M3, I've driven the M3 Competition, I've driven the M3 X Drive, but somehow, I've never driven the middle child, the middle ground here, the M340i. New for 23, we've got iDrive 8 in this car now, this big uninterrupted piece of glass that acts as your cluster and your infotainment. We've got no more shifter. We just have a little, well, I guess technically we have a shifter. Um, it's just like a little Porsche style little knob thing there. And uh, this car is red. I'm blanking on the actual name of the color. Uh, Melbourne Red, I think. Melbourne Red, black interior. Pretty simple spec on this car. It's extremely windy out. Uh, we'll walk you around this thing, and uh, then we will go on a little bit of a blast down this mountain road. Maybe we'll call this one Sport Mode. I was saving that joke for just the right time. Maybe this wasn't the right time. Okay, I'm, I'm probably not gonna talk on this walk around because it's so freaking windy. But here's the car. I'm gonna hold my hat. Ah! That X7 looks so good in that individual color. But anyway, sorry, M340i. Not too much different on the outside. We've got different badges, of course, since this is the anniversary of the M cars. Under the hood of this thing, we have the three liter twin power turbo inline six, better known as the B58. Pretty iconic motor. It's in the Supra, it's in the m 340 i and in any uh, new BMW that ends with 40i, as far as I know. And it is such a phenomenal and such a sweetheart of a motor. So uh, I'm excited to get in this thing and rip down this road. I'm gonna be following Charlie in the X7 and uh, I'm gonna be taking it a little bit easy the reason I'm shooting this car for Topher Drives right now instead of the Topher is because uh, I got three hours of sleep last night and I don't know how entertaining I'm going to be able to be in this drive. So just bear with me, listen to the sweet sounds of the B58, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. <sighs> in the spirit of my joke earlier, we're just going to start out right in sport mode. I'm going to move this a little bit closer, move this up and out just slightly more. We're in Sport Plus, and I always like to try these cars out in manual mode. I think that it just adds a whole level to the driving experience. And uh, it's kind of just what I prefer. ZF 8-speed in this car makes for a pretty dang good time. I always hear that the M340i is the best 3 Series, and I've never driven one. rasp from that exhaust there. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. The lighting situation is always so tough when you're uh, in the mountains in California because it's always so sunny and the mountains make a ton of shadows so apologies if this video looks a little bit weird. that X7 hustle. <laughs> Alright, that X7 is <laughs> it's just as fast as this M340i, despite it weighing probably two to 2,500 pounds more than this car. Yeah, this thing's properly quick though. This is probably the best tuning I've felt on this 8-speed gearbox uh, to date with a BMW. Those gear changes were absolutely instantaneous. Good rev match there. Yeah, when you're actually in on it, absolutely a lightning fast gear change. This 
So if you got a cyclist up here, we'll be polite. We'll share the road. You got to give this guy credit. I mean, would you ride your bike up here? I wouldn't. This man's got bigger balls than I do, that's for sure. Feel this B58. <laughs> the popping noise, as the Germans call it. Let's try out some automatic driving here, see how this thing reacts. Weights up nicely in the corners. Oh my god, the grip, the grip. But also the grip from that X7 that's leaving me. Pretty quick steering rack. A little vague though, is that... ears are popping and so is my exhaust Whew, okay we've caught up to a couple of cars so we can relax for a second and um, <laughs> Let's talk about what I'm actually doing here today. So, as I'm sure some of you guys know, or I'm sure all of you guys know, I produce content for more than just this Topher Drives channel. This is really just the channel that I'm able to post on when I have the chance, when I have time, and when I feel like doing something nice for myself. But most of the time I'm producing content for Winding Road Magazine, the Topher, and Daily Motor. So, I'm out here right now in Palm Springs, California, and uh, we've got a lineup of new BMWs. We've got the new facelifted 3 Series, the new facelifted X7, the new, entirely new BMW 7 Series. We've got the 50th anniversary M3 out here. We've got the M4 CSL. We've got quite the toy box to play with this weekend. And um, I am super excited to get behind the wheel of a couple more BMWs. Unfortunately, you guys won't see them on this channel, but uh, you will see them over on the Winding Road Magazine and the Topher channel. <laughs> and uh, look forward to those because it's going to be a good time. That new 7 Series has like an entire theater in the back seat. It's pretty wild looking, so I'm excited to get into that tomorrow. We're going back to end the day. We just flew in today. It's 4 o'clock, and um, I'm running on three hours of sleep. So these are, these are the only cars that we're going to drive today. Um, but it's going to be a fun time. And uh, how freaking cool is it that I'm able to do stuff like this for work? I never thought that this, that, that this would be possible. I am so incredibly delirious right now. And I'm so excited to go to bed tonight. And hopefully be refreshed for tomorrow. Film some videos for the Topher channel. And you guys will be able to see those over there. I'm so excited to drive the new 7 Series. I've been looking forward to that for so long. But this M340i is pretty sweet. I mean, it's just a fun little chill thing. 
it really just feels like the 330i when you're driving it like this, driving along. And you know what? iDrive 8 is growing on me. I don't, I'm not as scared of it as I was when we got our first car with iDrive 8, the i4, earlier this year. And I also don't mind this little shifter. The only thing I don't like about this is you can no longer change gears manually with your right hand. You have to use the paddles and that's okay. But sometimes I like, you know, when I'm, when I'm mid corner or something, you know, sometimes it's cool to be able to change gear with your right hand, slap the stick down. If anything, it feels cool. Um, it makes you feel like you're driving a proper race car. So uh, that part of this whole thing I do miss. But otherwise, it feels pretty approachable. You can get past the iDrive 8. It's a pretty simple look in here. And um, no, I don't like that the climate control is in here, but otherwise it isn't too bad. Got some blue stitching and some M colors in here. Of course, BMW gives you all sorts of M badges and M colors on their non-M cars now. As you can see, I'm in an M340i, he's in an X7 M60i, neither of which are full M cars, but you know. Going up the last little twisty road here to the hotel, and there'll be a nice uh, representative from BMW to valet this car once we get up here. But that'll just about wrap it up for the M340i. The only thing I noticed while I wasn't recording is that when you're driving this thing in Comfort or Eco Pro, this B58 is so quiet that you can't even tell that it's there. I mean, BMW does such a fantastic job tuning their engines to not be grainy and to not have to rev out and to have enough low down torque to where it isn't like it isn't straining to drive. And uh, it's the same story with the 330i. In fact, I'd say the 330i is even quieter than uh, than this 340, which would make sense. But overall, great experience. And uh, yeah, you should buy an M340i. I just realized there's a piece of paper sticking out of the glove box. That isn't very nice to look at. Oh, what whale. To see if they've still got the whole suite of cars out. And I guess that they probably do. We'll take care of you. Amazing, thanks so much. You can see we've got these 50th anniversary M3s right here. Super freaking cool. All right. All right, cool guys. That'll end it for this one. Thanks so much for watching and look forward to seeing all these other cars on the Topher and Winding Road Magazine.